Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Blue Mother Banana and this is Mountain Blade Warband. Native Vanilla Mother just a raw game and you join us right at the moment where the Serenids declared on the Rodox. Not that I care, I'm actually trying to get rid of this uh, Kurgit guy that's trying to raid our city. And um, not only he's trying to raid our city, he is also, you know, trying to uh, kill our farmers and that sucks. As we all know. Two things that I want to do in this episode is, well, mainly kick Kurgit ass. That's that's one thing. And the second that we might try to do as well is get some more Nords and train up some more Huskars. We might even go off the Tilbot. I don't rightly know if I want to do this yet. Or if we leave that castle alone. I mean, it, we could do that. We could do that. Also, what I want to do is try to go to other cities. Um, maybe, you know, to the north. Mainly to the north. And the reason for that is... We need some food. We, need, we want more troops. So I think we can do both of that in one go. Also, we might find a tournament or something. Uh, even though, if I'm not mistaken, the Nords are currently fighting the Vagir, so that's not a good time for a tournament. Usually, they do this before campaigns or after campaigns, not during them. Come on. There we go. That was a luck shot, I guess. It wasn't really centered. Or Oh, that was great. Wasn't really in the center of my, my crosshair there. He, I just was lucky that my shot was, you know, off center. Off the crosshair, you'll know that this can happen. Let's see if we can get this. Ah, it's a bit risky. I delivered some damage to some horse, I don't know. And from the looks of it, there is the last guy up somewhere up on this hill. Oh, there we go. Most likely the guy on foot. I mean, let's see if we can snipe him. Eh, way too low. Okay, so somebody got killed by this one in night. Interesting. Where's everybody? Go oh, that guy was still alive. Oh no, he's not because the solid slit his throat or cut his belly open. Oh, whatever, he's dead. Dead as it goes. Perfect. Everybody's killed except one is wounded, and that is most likely the Noyan guy who escaped. Oh well. Can't always get it what you want. We defended the city though, uh, the village or whatever this little crap thing is, so perfect. That's that. Uh, one guy leveled up, doesn't matter. And there was some message about, yeah, there we go. Ulaban, that's north of here. Look, Lord Regis, you need to, you need to defend your shit, come on. And those guys are way too fast now. Maybe we get them because they are stupid or something. Yeah, come on, be stupid again. Ah. Bulban has been raided. What are you doing, Regis, you stupid noob? Defend your shite. Oh well, why am I even why am I even angry with them? No problem. Haha. <laughs> yeah, well. The Kurgits can't do crap anyways. They lost about everything, so... That's fine. Ooh. Let's get some morale for our troops. Let's get some dried meat, some sausage, some smoked fish. Maybe some cabbages as well, because why the hell not? I mean, it doesn't give that much morale. Let's see. Plus two, plus four. Meat is plus five. And so sausages, so that's, that's great. Pork is awesome. And you can see plus six to party morale, but then again... Um, it doesn't really, it, it, it's, it's expires really fast, so it's not really great. So let's go to, I don't know, some Count and some Jarl. Interesting. I don't, I don't know them and I don't want to know them. Look at that, Rivadin is now, oh come on. Peshmi has been raided. Where's Peshmi? Oh, down there. 
Ah, we didn't get a message that they are trying to raid it, so that is concerning. I think we need to... I don't know. Ah, oh, well, I think we have enough time. Let's go to this little village. Let's get some Nord troops. Recruit them. Nobody. Ah, idiots. Yeah, the Nords are currently on a campaign, as are the Serenids, or not really on a campaign, but they are, they, they are at war. So maybe that's the reason why. Wow, look at those guys. Hey, somebody got, has come to us. Great. Who is that guy? Oh, come on, really? Was it another Serenid dude? I don't like those guys. <sighs> oh, well. Once again, I think the best troops are... Nord or uh, what you call it? Nord, Swadian, and maybe Rodox. Not really. Rodox are good defensively, but not really that that well. So the Kurgids have been mistreated by the overlords of Rodox and Jakana. Ask Sandrakan for protection. What's what? Amashke? Where's Amashke? Where's that village? It must be this one, but because that's the only thing that they, they, they still own. Oh, there they go. Those guys are looking for protection from the Kurgids? Yeah, well, let's let's laugh a little about that. Ha ha ha, idiots. Sanja Khan can't help you, because he's almost, he's, he's almost beaten. Almost dead. Dead for good. Okay, are you kidding me? Stop raiding my crap. I think we're going to take Tilbot now, because I, I don't mind. Why shouldn't we? It's a smart idea to do that. Let's upgrade our knights. Take the Rodox. Upgrade the Rodox. Even more men-at-arms. Some veterans. The Nord recruits. 21 of them. That's great. 50 new footmen. Awesome. That is not too shabby. I like that. Take a look at our attributes. We might want to go up and level up some more intelligence. Maybe go to intelligence 18. So we level up trainer and... Um, why do I have looting that high? That's weird. Um, and tactics could also be good. But nah, not really. We have, a, we have, the, we have RT for that. But trainer would be good. Are there any more leader skills that I want? Yeah, well, leadership. Leadership to eight. It's not really that. I think seven is pretty high already. Persuasion. Hmm. Could be interesting. Let's look at that next time. Ah, yeah, everybody's... Oh, crap. All the Kurgids are now in this castle. Look at that. All of them. All of the Kurgids. 129... Oh, that's not good. The problem is, if we get if we get close enough, we could wait until the night and try to see, besiege it. If we manage to besiege it, then we're golden, I think. Oh, we need. We, I think we should get some more host cards for that. So let's go back to our lands. Oop, how, the, how much money did we make this time? 9k, that is awesome. Ah, uh, stupid mini Kurgit groups. They, uh, you can't really... Screw you, Tashkolun is, I think, one of the last... Where is it? Tash, Tashkolun. Tash, 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 where is it? It's Ada? Huh, weird. I can't see it. Hmm. Ah, there it is. Just in the middle. So the, the thing is that these bastards are now raiding our crap, and it sucks. Small bands near Tush. Okay, let's try to get them. Small bands near Ranger Castle. You really want to fight me, dude? You really want to do that? Yeah, we are stupendously slow now because we're trying to train up a lot of footmen. Uh, well. Let's 
get all of them footmen. All the footmen. I hate this so much. See and then oh, how many how many of you guys are trying to raid this? Gotta be kidding me! I fight all three of you. Come at me, you pussies, you little scaredy cats! Look at them! All the enemies. Ah, that is really tempting. That is really tempting. I mean, they have Tilbot Castle. What what are they What are they going to do? Nothing, basically. It's not that I really want it. And I can declare on them any time. Okay, let's do it. Let's accept. We gain right to rule three times. <laughs> because we took so much stuff off of them. That is great. Let's take a look at our report. We have 2,295 renown. 35 honor rating. I have no clue how good that is. Our party morale is going down a little bit. We're the king of the Bulgarian Empire. That's not true. We're the emperor of the Bulgarian Empire. We're the master lord, uber king chief of the Bulgarian Empire. We can... I want my... edit my title. With some estates. We might want to give away some of those because we're making way too much money. So don't really need it. Hmm. We have a friend. And some enemies. That's a Nord Nordman. That's a a current, currently in service of the Count. I think Count is either Swadian or um, uh, Rodok. And Emir is a Serenit guy. All right. So now we need a new target. We are still at war with uh, what you call the Rodoks. So we could go go down here and try to take Un. Unutstak? That's a shitty name. Or we are also at war with those guys, so we could try and take, um, I don't know, Uxkal or Praven or something like that, but that's too far away, I think. I mean, look at look at the color distribution on this map. The Vegas losing at the moment. The Nords are actually pretty big. They only have three cities. Oh no, four cities. Okay, they are five? No, four, five cities. Yeah, wow. So they are actually doing not too shabby. The Swadians pretty much screwed. The Serenids are actually pretty stretched out. I mean, they have Suno, they have Tyr, they have Verchek, and they have some of their, holdings, their, their core holdings in, in the desert. And lost only one of them, I think. Charisse is usually a Serenit location, as is this castle, I think. I'm not sure, though, even though these guys asked such a count for help. So I, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure about that. And the Greens are not doing so well offensively, but they are holding their own. I mean, I think they swapped these two. Ah, well. And then, of course, there's us. We have the steppe regions, mountain. Well, we're, we're surrounded by mountains. That's actually not too bad. I would love to get this castle, but I don't want to declare uh, declare an offensive war, if at all possible. So I don't rightly know what we are trying to do next. Hmm. I mean... Leveling up troops would be good. Trying to go um go after more. You know what? Let's take a peek at this down here. Why the hell not? I mean, we want to expand anyway, so let's see what we can find. I mean, leveling up troops is something that you need to do all the time. Looks great. Got some more. Got some more. That's why I love the trainer ability. If you level that up and you're the highest level on the team, then it's pretty damn good. So let's take a look here. Crap. Ten sharpshooters, some this. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
doable, but we lose a lot. Also, I'm not really a huge fan of castles. On the other hand, we take this and then we move south and try to take Charis or on the way, Weya. Let's take a peek at Weya. Let's just try and look at interesting targets, I would say. It's more of a scouting mission this time. Some deserters over there. Nah, uh, 23. Ooh, that is. Those guys. That is a little bit more defended than I'd like to be. Let's see. Some Serent horsemen. If we can catch them, I'll take. Oh no, we're so slow. 126 is a little bit. Okay, screw this. I'm going home. I'm gonna defend my crap. Move. Where are we? There we are. Ah, we're we're too slow. I don't like it. We're gonna drop up, drop off some some uh, troops in Ikimur. I it's it's just too slow. Going to drop off some host calls, I think, and maybe some sharpshooters and stuff like that. Everything that's leveled up high enough will get kicked out, and um. Oh, not really kicked out, so just stashed, you know, just stashed. And once we have enough troops again, then we're going to... Oh, there we There's somebody raiding this right now. Get the hell away of this. Uh, okay, yeah, I know. We're going to stuff somebody, uh, some, some troops into this garrison. Come on, uh, all the sharpshooters. Um, maybe, I don't know, like six of those. Uh, we have so many footmen now, that is weird. Did I hire too many of those? Nah, I don't think so. So 32 Huskals right there. We can't get, all, can't get any time, that's great. As long as we have, you know, a huge amount of cavalry, that's, that's fine. Did I see that we only had four uh, of those? People uh, of those step bandits left in Yakumur. Yeah, I think we started with 60 or something. Uh, small band of enemies spotted in Atolga. That is not good. We need to catch some enemies soon because of the party morale. See, we're only above average now. We need to, to kick some butts. How is this even possible? I hate step bandits. I'm not gonna. Attack step and it's going to follow this guy now forever and ever. But I think we're way too slow even if even if he does some stupid shit like that. Yeah, we can't catch him. Yeah, because he has a Kurgit party, it's basically impossible to get him. Yep, that sucks. Ah, these are Serenids. Ah, I thought maybe. Okay, forget it. We can't catch that guy. We need to we need to catch something soon though. I'm not gonna fight 62 Kurgit horsemen. It's not even close to what I want. You know what? We're going home. We're going to drop off some of the recruits and just swap them around. You know, we're going to uh, pick them up when we train. You know, we're going to train up half of them now and half of them later. That's my plan. We're just slow. That's why I don't like having this, um, having huge armies. Because they're just too slow. You can't catch anything. So I guess we're going to get rid of maybe half of them. So seven remain. The sharpshooter, piss off. Swatted infantry. Why do I have a swatted infantry then? Don't need that. Uh, poor trained footman. I want to slim down. Maybe I'll even leave some knights behind. Nah, knights are too good. Veteran crossman. Let's leave. Yeah, all the sword in footman and the normal nod footman. That's fine. Who's the bear? Okay, so let's leave those guys. And as soon as these 
this group down here is all trained up. We go back and pick up the rest. I think that's better. I don't want to wait for some time. I want to get rid of this guy who's trying to raid my crap. I need to go, actually. That's something that I didn't even... Ah, uh, shite. We need to fight somebody. There we go. You. He is. He is it. Oh, he's fighting farmers. Ah, damn it. We're slow. He defeated those faster than we... And we lost him. This guy is ridiculous. And he lost two troops to when he fought the farmers. There we go. Oh, he hates our guts. He hates our guts. Even better. Even better. Surrender or fucking die. Swadia hates us so much. Even though we were once one of their best vassals, really. We were... We were the one uh, pulling the strings, you know. We were the, the guys that actually made Swadia great. And they would need us to make Swadia great again, but uh, yeah, won't happen. Make Swadia great again. We'll get Battle Tongue day 500 and whatever. We're, we're day 500 and something. Come on. go. That should be an interesting campaign. We could go to King Harlaus of Swadia to ask him. Who's the pretender of, of Swadia again? I think that's Lady Assault? Could there, I think that's that's the one. So if you read up, uh, you, you know every, every kingdom has a pretender that wants to be king, right? And uh, you can you know, you can start campaigns for them and install them on the throne. And I think it's Lady Assault when it comes down to Swadia. Or something like that. Something with I at the beginning. And she... She was actually at our, our castle and asked us to help her. Which we didn't do because we're not really interested in uh, installing her on the throne. I would rather be king of Swadia myself. Of course it wouldn't be called Swadia then, but uh, you know. Doesn't really matter. So we got rid of this one guy who was trying to raid us all the freaking time. It's great. Like it. And our morale is high again. Even better. So what, should, what are we going to do next? So we wanted to try and take one of these things back down there and I'm still kind of convinced that we could do this. So let's go down to the city of Charis or Charis or whatever the name. Uh, there we go, somebody joins. This whole lord swapping is, is a little bit weird now. It's a little bit, a little bit much. Let's see, Manhunters. Ah, damn it, I thought these were some kind of deserters. Oh, that's great. Serenade Footman, that's what we need right now. You will regret leaving your army. Why do I say, oh, we need them right now? Well, it's experience and they're weak as hell. Also, morale. And I mean, look at this huge front, this gigantic mass of uh, well knights that are trying to charge these poor, poor souls that deserted well you will regret leaving your army good sir I'm done with ya actually my knights are done with ya why are you stuck back there who's stuck back there Huh? Oh, interesting. I didn't know that you could do that. Oops. You can select multiple. Why are you in the cavalry? Why are you... How the hell did you lose your... 
What the hell? How did you lose your horses? Wh what's going on? Why are these... Why are they... Wh what? What the... Okay? The horses vanished or something? I am a little bit confused by this. No, no, sorry. I'm I'm tremendously, extremely confused by this. I have no clue what the hell happened. I mean, it's not like that we lost because of that or something, but that was weird. Did I tell them to dismount or something? No, because the rest of them was mounted. Holy cow! What the... Okay, we're not going. We're not going to take this. 66 sharpshooters, 83 sergeants, that is not great. We would need, a, I would say, at least, at least 80 host cars for this. Frick. And we would lose half of them, I guess. So, okay, back to training up host cars, I would say. There's nothing we can do here. We could try and take this castle though, that's a little bit easier, and we could try to take that castle, that should be a bit better. Uh, I think we should just go on a, on a scouting mission though, just continuing the scouting mission. Uh, but I th Whoa! That's a lot! 61 sar- uh, yeah, 61 sergeants, 32 sharpshooters, that's a little bit easier. But since it's a castle, I think we will be a lot longer in their, um, you know, range of, or you know, in the, in the line of sight, in their firing range or some, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And we can't get those guys currently, we can't recruit um, Rodox at the moment, as because, yeah, we're at war with them, we're at war with them. Hmm. Oh, hey, why are you running away? It's a Nordman, perfect, come back here. Actually, why is he running away? I think this is the last fight that we do for this episode, even though we are kind of far in. So, I don't know, but I feel like it. I, it not, not, not a lot happened uh, up until now, so I think it's, it's only fair that we get a good battle at the end. Let's see. Okay, so he is moving up in formation, which is nice. Uh, we're going to put up our cavalry up here as infantry will hold this position and I would say cavalry wait wait and if they now ah, we got you chum. I was hoping that yep they did they did turn around great look at that they're going to get charged in the back and all of my guys missed you idiots that would have been perfect They charged the backs and they missed! All of them missed! I can't even... I, uh, I mean, I missed too, so it's not that I can really be like, Hey guys, I, I hit my target. You are the noobs here. Uh, oh well. That's... Oftentimes... Ow, I didn't see that there was a throwing axe. Stop it! That's like, um, the opposite of well done, no, the, the, yeah, the opposite of well done is well meant or something like that, or I, I'm not sure how this saying is, I, uh, should go in English. You know, if you mean something well, and it, the opposite of that is that is well done, you've done it well, I don't know. It's, it doesn't matter, we won kick the spot in the first round. Let's see if we can kick a spot in the second and the third. I think it will be maybe maybe two rounds. No, uh, this and another one. We're at battle size 50 or something like that. And uh, once again I got a message or got a comment. Why so tiny uh, why so tiny battle size? Uh, yeah, 30 was most definitely too small, I agree. 
And upgrading it a little bit was was pretty good. I think I'm at 55 at the moment. But I don't want to go any bigger because main mainly it it makes your it makes you a little bit weaker overall, you know? Uh, the, the good thing about my tactic here is I like to roll with a small team of very high level troops. So basically quality over quantity. If you increase the battle size by a lot, then this tactic can be countered easily by surging. And then I would have to run around with a huge army all the time and I can't really catch the smaller guys. And I hate that. It's not really something that I would say, oh, it's because of balance or it's because of... No, it's more or less like, it's more or less gameplay. It's more or less like the gameplay and how enjoyable I I feel like it, I, I feel like playing it or how enjoyable it is playing it. And I think I already mentioned this once, if a friend of mine was trying to play a game on, on the hardest difficulty and he was like, ah, I really, it's it's just so bad, it, I don't enjoy playing, it is so bad, it's, it's all the t he was complaining about it all the time, I said, well, then just don't play it on the heaviest difficulty, or on the, on the highest difficulty, heaviest, why did I say heaviest, on the, you know, on the highest difficulty, why do you do that, if you don't like playing it that way, just tune it down, just play however the frick you want, it's not like somebody gives you... Uh, gives you shit for it. It's not like, oh, look at that noob playing it, playing at the second highest difficulty. <laughs> I mean, if you like the, if you really enjoyed the challenge, then okay, do it. If you hate the challenge and you're constantly whining, then don't do it. It's just like that. Play whatever the frick makes you, you know, makes you happy. Not really happy or enjoy the game. Just it's the minimum requirement requirement for me. If you don't enjoy it, then why the hell would I even do it? I mean, when it comes down to gaming, of course, there's enough there's enough stuff that you have to do even though you don't enjoy it anyways. So when it comes down to your the stuff that you do in your free time, um, I guess you should enjoy it at least. That's a classic rant, I guess. Oh yeah, so that's why I, I think I won't um, upgrade my battle size by a lot. Uh, also, I got a suggestion for a really cool mod. I think that it looks great. It's something that transfers this into uh, ancient Rome, and it looks amazing from from what I've read in the forums and stuff, it looks really cool, but after 70 episodes of normal Mountain Blade, I do think I need a little bit of a cool off period. So I don't know how long I will play this hardcore like that, hardcore, like, you know, an episode a day basically, um, or release an episode a day, maybe I will let it cool off a bit. Because I want to be, you know, all fresh and and enthusiastic when Multiple A2 comes out, right? So I kind of need a might need a refresher in between. So that's why. Also, this episode is going on way too long now to see it. It's about 35 minutes. It's a long one. I think it was kind of disciplined the last couple episodes and I kept it around 25 to 30 minutes. I was very proud of myself for doing that. It's just so easy to lose yourself in this game and kind of lose track of time and then you have some battles to do and the battles take longer than you like them to. Ah, crap. And then sometimes you go for a 20th minute episode and then nothing has happened and you think, well, let's go for a battle and then it just takes 40 minutes. Ah, crap. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And... Hep. Crowd surfing. I think it would be really bad to crowd surf. You know you have fought well, you're free to go. I think it would be really bad to crowd surf with a horse. I think that could be a little bit painful for the 
people underneath you, but meh. And everybody is, they, they ate the sausages. Of course they did. Now uh, we need to buy some new food. Well, I think we're going to do this in the next episode. If you like what you saw, then please consider pressing the like button. It helps me out a great deal. And I really do hope that I see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, auf Wiedersehen.